G'day Pisces, welcome back to TJ Tarot and Undark and do the love energy coming towards you as that now, let's go. Give me three cards to start with for the love energy coming towards Pisces please. Okay. So it is a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all you can check out your other placements or check out my playlists and see if something resonates for you there. Clarify card one please. Cross watches, this could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's, so please do keep that in mind. You may not be the only one thinking about Pisces right now. Clarify card two, please. Clarify card three, please. And all the decks are pre shuffled, and I'll list them below in the description box in the order that I'm using them, in case you're interested in what these decks are. Three more for the love energy coming towards Pisces, please. Whoa, okay. Nice and quick, I like that. So I hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves, having a good day and a good week and having a good weekend. Clarify card one in row two, please, whenever you're watching this and wherever you're watching this from. I hope you're doing well. Clarify card two and row two, please. Yes, I'm feeling better. <laughs> Ooh. All right. That was a big explosion. Clarify card three and row two, please. And, yeah, and I hope you're remembering to do something nice for yourself, too. All right. Let's begin, Pisces. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Mm. What's going on with my cloth? There we go. Straighten those cards. And we've got the sun. That's their happiness, this playfulness. Inner youthful spirit of fun. So, yes. That's their happiness. And we've got the child on the sun card as well. So they're, yeah, youthful spirit of fun. Just playing around. Just, yeah. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I wonder if they want to try and change your mind. The tower. Yes. Exactly. Sudden change. And the Queen of Swords. Because you've got your sword up to them. And their playful ways. You want someone that comes correctly. And passes the sort of truth. So you can let them into your heart. But they've got to pass the sort of truth first. And if they're just playing around, that's not going to happen. You're not going to let them in. So, yeah, they're hoping to change your mind sudden change and get you to put that um the sword that's protecting your heart the yeah the cold hard steel of the truth <sighs> which could you could cut them out of your life or yeah yeah that's what they're worried about yes hoping things to suddenly change How to have conversations, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. But can they be honest? That's what I'm hearing. Ace of Coins. The stable offer. A stable beginning. A heart to heart about a stable beginning. See, with that, can they be honest? Are they looking for a handout with money? Is that what this heart-to-heart's going to be about? Oh, poor me, I'm broke. Yeah, well, get a job. Or, you know, not my problem. <laughs> um, yeah, you had your chance. Um, yeah, 
playfulness is a happiness. Like, you know, hoping they can change your mind, a heart-to-heart conversation. But is it going to be honest about a stable beginning? Or is it just part of the game? Panda. Create a sacred space for yourself in a in your home and or place of work. So some sort of sacred space for them. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, not letting anybody in. Holding back. See, I think their home and their work and the things they do, they hold back from people because, well, they're going to hold it back. Because they don't want you to see it. It's like... It's their sacred space. It's like... um, They don't want you to know where they work. They don't want you to come and... Share a house with them or be... You know, live together or anything. Because, oh, no, no, no. My home's my sacred space. And, you know, nobody's getting into that. We'll just go out and have some fun. It's like, no, no, no. (sighs) Mm. Peacock, let yourself stand out and be noticed. Definitely someone who likes to peacock. As in show off their beautiful, glorious outside. (laughs) Be a, you know, show show off and look pretty and, you know... Be attractive, like overly, that's overly important to them. Not, you know, it's nice to be attractive and look your best and that, but this is standing out and being noticed. They like that. Ooh, Ten of Swords, the painful ending. Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups, that's your energy. The Star card. Yeah, stop. Okay, so they had a painful ending here with their love of passion and passionate action and <sighs> feeling confident and yeah, the Queen of Wands is a, is definitely the pe- a peacock as well because she likes to show off. I mean. Let's the show off. Love of passion. <sighs> yeah, I think that's a... Yeah, that peacocking's brought them a very painful ending. Could have been from another woman or another man because uh, the Queen of Wands is a mistress. She's not married to the King of Wands. They do their own thing. be so yeah somebody else and now you they want you to help heal them and make them feel pretty again seven of so seven of wands sorry nine of cups oh sorry seven of cups wow i'm really messing up here the lady in the lord which is the lovers yeah See, they want to put their defences... Yeah, they don't want to be have their defences up, which they do at the moment. They're wanting you to heal them and make them feel pretty again. Because they feel they have to defend themselves right now. Yeah, wanting you to invest in them. Make them feel like they belong. Like this soulmate connection, like they belong with each other. I can almost feel that this female is showing the male, like, is bringing him forth to show him something. And it's like they want you to, male or female, to bring them, to show them something beautiful within themselves, invest in themselves. They want you to invest in them. Oh, it's Seven of Cups. Wow, this person's really got me confused. This energy's really got me confused. Because I'm thinking it's Seven of Pentacles. It's not. 
It's illusion, confusion. Ah, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, they want you to heal this. Because they do feel defensive here, but it is an illusion that this will be a connection. See, it's the same as what I said, though. They do want you to invest in them and to show them, make them feel beautiful again. But, yeah. Confusion, illusion. Yeah, it is just an illusion that there'll be any soulmate connection here. But it's basically they want you to stroke their ego because they're not feeling pretty right now. And walrus. <laughs> Remain vigilant about the current situation. Pay attention to signs and omens and let them dictate your choices. Ooh. With the Nine of Swords, yeah. See, they didn't pay attention to the warning signs and now they're living in a nightmare. This is the problem. They didn't, yeah. They ignored the signs. They ignored the signs. <laughs> and another reading like this. Sure, if it was, I think it was just the last reading. It was a bit of a nightmare for the past person, but this one's still happy to play. But the reality is that they're yeah going through a bit of a bit of a nightmare right now, wanting you to make them feel all pretty again. But no, 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 this isn't a connection. We're not, yeah. My space is my space. Hoping you'll let your guard down. Yeah, this heart-to-heart -heart conversation is to get you to help them feel stable again. Because that's a nice. All right, bonus deck. Oh, this one, what else can you tell us about this love energy? Oh, no. Let's say go again. All right. What else can you tell us about this love energy coming towards Pisces, please? Ooh, we've got a lot. Turn them upside down. Can't see them. All right, let's begin. The Phoenix, new phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, change mind. Yeah, see, They're down in the ashes and they want you to um, renew them, make them feel better again. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, see, going over the past, who made me feel good in the past? Pisces did. Twin flames, yin, yang, zen, balance, unity, sorry, union, duality, coupling, complement each other. Um... If you've basically done all your self-work, yeah, the two flames can burn brightly together. If you haven't, you burn each other. That's the thing with twin flames. <sighs> Don't know why they put all this on here, because twin flames is one of the worst, well, yeah, one of the hardest relationships to deal with. So... The burning desire they have for you, but look, this I think this is the BS they're going to tell you. Oh, you're my twin flame, Pisces. You're all these wonderful things, which you are, but you no. Wedding, oh my god, wedding rings, union, wedding, marriage, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. See, that's what they're going to... And not enough, see? Frustration in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. See? They're going to say all this to you and then it's going to be, oh, this is not enough for me. 
and get frustrated with the relationship. At the moment, they're lacking confidence and they've, because of their own self-sabotage. So they've got ego issues here that they want you to fix for them. But as far as any of that goes, nah. You know, yous could be all these wonderful things, but that's not enough for them because they're all about their ego. So I, I personally, I don't think they're your twin flame and I don't think, yeah, no. But they'll tell you all that. Because they know it worked on you in the past, possibly. But yeah, they just want you to make them feel good again. Alright, let's see. Look, it was hard for me to let you go. Yeah, right. What would this energy like to say to Pisces, please? We know it's going to be BS, but we'll see. Oh, I still love you. But then you're going to take off as soon as you preen your feathers and, you know, Pisces has mended your wings. And it's not like mending the wing of a bird and letting it go, and setting it free. This is someone who is playing you. And they're happy to do it. But the reason why I don't like it is because they're coming in making out you're their twin flame and let's get married and or commitment and all this sort of stuff. But they're not letting you in. They've got to get your guard down first. But yeah, they just want you to help them feel awesome again. And then everything's not enough and they're off. So, same old story, hey Pisces. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm a bit over this energy coming back in again too. So, I know how you feel. Alright, well that's your reading, Pisces. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave a nice comment, that will be awesome. And thanks for watching, I appreciate every single one of you. Okay, all the best, take care, good luck, and I'll catch you next week.